breaking news! You it's rumor news. It's rumor news, though. It's from our yeah. pal Sean. We know. You know, we know Gunn likes to hire his friends, right? Doesn't every director? You're, I, I'm not arguing that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I know Zach does, too. I, my main issue of course, with... Daisy does it. Yeah, you know, my Tarantino main issue with it. Gunn is that he disregards everything else. That's all. Like, I, hey, I love to see some of a lot of money, man. You got a lot of characters going stay forward. Stay like Sasha Kale, which we still don't know. We still don't know. I just doubt Sasha Kale is the woman of Supergirl, woman of tomorrow. I, I would leave that question for the box office. I don't think she's going to yeah. be his, but I think she'll yeah. be around. But uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see if Sean is on to something here. Uh, What's Sean? Because you know a lot of Sean's. Sean O'Rourke, our pal okay. Sean O'Rourke. Okay. So this is on Twitter. And I'm like, mm, I could kind of see it. It might be a different tone. Maybe it's maybe it's too jokey for Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Who do you think? Who do you think's in the gun stable that he might consider for an older Batman that you haven't thought of yet? Oh, the Batman. Older Batman. Chris I haven't Pratt? thought of for Batman, Brave and the, Brave and the Bold. Not Chris <laughs> Pratt. Why do you think it's an older Batman? Well, Brave and the Bold. Someone who Batman. hasn't played him before. Nathan Fillion. I could see it. You could see it. I could see. Depending on what you need to, how old is he's old enough to have a ten-year-old son at this point after becoming Batman? So he's in his mid-forties, right there. So maybe I actually think this is somebody could be twenty-eight with a ten-year-old son. But the thing is, no, not not if you look at the timeline of Batman and when he has Damian Wayne and where he's at in his life when Damian first comes to him, he's he's Mm. clearly older than he is younger. Because you figured, you figured Son of the Beast is this one that was released. And when Son of the Beast was released and when he, the kid was first appeared, um, he was already Batman. And you, you remember, he's not in his 20s uh, when, when that encounter takes place with Tyler Ashari. I so, think this would be interesting, especially if Ben Affleck is done. You're not going with George Clooney or anyone else and you need an older Batman that's not super old. Uh, I think this guy's going to have several Batman. Yeah, but TDK is already done. Didn't he die in Suicide yeah, He died. Yeah, yeah, his arms flew off. <laughs> He's way dead. Right. Yeah, he was. The only TDK. one that made it out of there was, uh, oh, never mind. I don't want to spoil it's it. Jenkin, Jensen Ackles. But he's so popular in the boys. Like, I don't know. I could see this. He, he, he would, I think he, I, I would, it would have to see who's directing, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, which one is Jensen Ackles from the boys? Which one uh, is Soldier Boy. Oh, yeah. He'd be good. Yeah. He's got plenty of time to do Batman if he wanted Reverse to. Reverse for what do you think of this? Oh, what? Nathan Fillion. Why are people not paying attention that James Gunn hires all the same people? This is the father like Batman to Robin Damian Wayne. Nathan Fillion. Mm. Well, uh, when they say I people think he's still, hire. I think he's too old. Oh, someone told him to shut up. <laughs> uh. Man, Eddie B. Man, shut up, kid. Kid. Biatch, I'm 48 years old. <laughs> yeah, it, it all depends. I got to see the script first and what he's planning on doing. Right now, just that bit, he's, I don't know. I just got to see where, where he's planning on going with this, if they'd be able to say yay or nay. I think it's I, awesome. I could see it if they want to go that way. Yeah. Because yeah, it's uh, Batman family type of deal. So it's not, it's not focused solely on him, his exploits as a, you know, early 30s yes. Batman. It's focused on him earlier on, later on in his career. So definitely wow. in the cow. The, well, the right, down the, right down in the comics, um, Batman's late 30s. So the one I'm struggling with is to see him as Bruce, but I could yeah. definitely see him in the cow. It's, it's, a it, real, it's not going to happen, but it's a shame it's not Ben Affleck with you the, know, it, away. Yeah. You also realize that, that um, if, if he goes by comic book canon, Batman is not a young man when he becomes Batman. He actually goes to law school. He actually has, if you look at, um, I think it's uh, one of the uh, detective comics, 420 something. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a law degree on his wall. He's been to law school. <coughs> and he left Gotham for seven years before he became Batman. So he's like, he's right around 30 when he first puts on the Batman. That would be about 30 years old. Yeah, but um, yeah. the new 52 recanted all that and they de-aged him. And... Yeah, but you know what do you, and do you, do you, do you, do you use? It's it's trash that can be retconned. That's the good thing about New Fifty Two. All all the world was before Jeff Johns came and shit on it was something that someone else wrote. So if somebody could come along once Jeff Johns is far enough away from DC 
and do the same thing he did and go back to the normal canon. The Batman 52 run was amazing. 